Welcome back to the Frustrated Job Seeker Podcast. I'm your host, Mark Williamson, and today we're diving deep into the dynamic world of government contracting. Stick around until the end because I've got some insider insights on just how much you can make as a government contractor. So let's kick things off by understanding what a government contractor does. These professionals are the backbone of government projects, providing goods or services to various agencies. Think of them as the driving force behind critical infrastructure, technology solutions, and more. It's a field with diverse opportunities and the potential for success is immense. Now, when it comes to finding opportunities, one of the go-to places is SAM.gov. It's the treasure trove of government solicitation. From construction projects to IT services, you can find a variety of opportunities. For example, solicitations for building renovations, cybersecurity services, porta potties, or even medical supplies can be found on SAM.gov. It's a marketplace that spans countless industries. Now let's talk about the steps required to become a government contractor. The journey begins with registering on SAM.gov. This central hub streamlines the contracting process. Obtaining a CAGE or Commercial and Government Entity Code and a UEI or Unique Entity Identifier is crucial. These identifiers are like your business passport, helping you navigate the vast landscape of government contracts. Now here's an interesting choice you might face. Owning a business that directly delivers goods or services versus being a government contracting middleman. Owning a business means you're hands-on providing the contracted services yourself. On the flip side, being a middleman involves managing subcontractors who execute the work. It's like choosing between being the star performer or the conductor of a grand symphony. Let's explore a day in the life of a government contractor. Imagine waking up to a world of project management, site visits, and team coordination. It's a role that demands strategic thinking and attention to detail. Now for those intrigued by the middleman role, your day might involve navigating SAM.gov searching for lucrative opportunities and contacting subcontractors to assess their ability to provide project deliverables and whether you'd like to partner with said subcontractor. So you may be wondering, how do I get into government contracting and do I have to go it alone? Well, fortunately, there are a number of highly experienced people who have achieved success in the government contracting space who are willing to share their knowledge and insight into the world of government contracting. Some key social media personalities in the government contracting space includes individuals like Jason White, Wes Fisher, and Kizzy Parks, who offer valuable insights and training. They share their experiences, strategies, and knowledge, helping aspiring government contractors navigate the complexities of the field. So I definitely recommend watching videos and or enrolling in training with one or more of these individuals. And now the question everyone's been waiting for, how much can you make as a government contractor? Well, the value of contracts varies, but it can be substantial. Successful contracts translate to a lucrative income. You might win a contract that's worth five to ten thousand dollars, or you could win a contract that's worth a hundred thousand to a half a million dollars or more, depending on the situation. It's a field where your skills and efforts can directly impact your financial success. So if you found value in today's episode, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And if you have any questions or want to share your thoughts, leave a comment down below. Your engagement fuels our content. Remember, opportunities are out there waiting for you to seize them. Until next time, stay motivated in your pursuit of success.